Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you how you can create a WordPress user using the plugin WP Webhooks Pro in combination with Sapir. It basically is a pretty easy thing. The first thing we should do is go to your WordPress dashboard, settings, Webhook Pro, and from there you have to navigate to receive data. Here you will find the first webhook. This one is created by default. You can change it, delete it. When you delete it, it will it gets generated automatically again. And what you basically do is you just copy this whole webhook URL, go to SAP here, create a new SAP. Uh, I already did it here. And I currently use the teachable new user trigger for creating a new user, which means when on my teachable account, a new user signs up, uh, it will trigger this SAP and the define actions will happen. What I'm gonna do now is I add a new step, go to action search and choose here webhooks. Inside of the webhooks, I just choose the post functionality, which means we send a post in form as it, of a JSON back to our website and we click save and continue. Now we can include or insert our webhook URL here. Uh, currently I just copied the license let me quickly get this straight now we have it as a payload type you can leave the form and as data the first thing we should do is include the action the action basically means the webhook action itself and this one we want to create a user so it is create underscore user i just mark that copy it and place it inside of the action data we need a second one for the users and i will show you why when we click on the create user and we open the accepted arguments, you will see that user email is the only one that has a little red star at the right. And this means it's a required one and we need this one as well. So we're going to copy this and create a new data field for it, include the user email and choose now the user email from the data that comes from the previous trigger. In this case, it's the user email. Also, because I want to show the name in a beautiful way. We just take the display name. So I just copy the display name argument. I set the display name, display name argument and I include here the username. So basically the display name will get the username that comes from the new trigger. So when we scroll down, we can see here a field called unflattened. We have to set this to no. The rest you can just keep it like it is. And that's basically it. So everything you need is just the action field. The action field is always required if you make an action. User email is required in this case for creating a user and display name is optional. I just choose it because I want to. You can basically use any of these parameters that are listed here. Do action, for example, would trigger a custom action on the WordPress system. Uh, send email would trigger sending emails um, based if the new user is created. So with username and password and so on. You can even set a custom password um, custom user meter. How this works would also be interesting, so I will quickly show you that. We just include, therefore, the user meter, and the first word would be the meter key. We just name it meter key, or let's call it, for make it more clear, um, custom meter key. So this is the meter key. We can then set a comma, and then the value we want to have, um, custom value, for example. When you want to set multiple ones, you can separate them with a semicolon and start now again. Sem meter key two and your value and semicolon and so on. So you can just add multiple meta meta values and they will be added to the user that gets created. After this, you can go to continue. Just check again your data if it fits well with the URL, your data with the data attributes and the keys and the values and the unflattened should be at false. That's it basically. When you click now to uh, send test to webhooks by SAP here, it will work. In my case, it wouldn't work because as you can see, we use a dev URL, which means it's not available online. But in your case, when you use a website which is connected with the internet or which domain is connected with the internet, it will definitely work. That's it from my side. In case you have any questions, feel free to ask me at any time and otherwise enjoy working with it.